Black body is a concept that every person working in thermal radiation comes across. But what is it really? Anything that looks black is a black body? Then why snow is considered to be a black body too? In today's video, we will understand what is a black body and what are its characteristics. The idea of black body was first introduced by Gustav Kirchhoff. Black body is a body that completely absorbs all the radiation incident on it from all directions and at all wavelengths without any reflection. That's why it is known as a perfect absorber. Also, it emits the maximum radiation a body can emit in all directions, so it's a diffuse emitter and also at all wavelengths. That is why it is known as a perfect emitter. The closest approximation of a black body is achieved by a cavity with a hole whose inner surfaces are at a uniform temperature. If radiation enters through a small aperture, it is likely to experience many reflections before re-emergence. Since some radiation is absorbed by the inner surface upon each reflection, it is eventually almost entirely absorbed by the cavity and the black body behavior is approximated. From the thermodynamic principles, it may then be argued that radiation leaving the aperture depends only on the surface temperature and corresponds to black body emission. Since black body emission is diffuse, the radiation leaving the cavity is independent of direction. Let's take a hollow block having a small hole. Note that the outside surface of the block is reflecting light primarily in the visible wavelength. The hole appears to be black because no visible light is getting reflected from it. What do you think the block and hole will look like in the infrared light? Note that the block appears dark now. This occurs because at room temperature the black body spectrum peaks in the infrared. Less light is being emitted in the infrared region than is being reflected in the visual wavelength. But note that the hole appears very bright. The entire inside surface of the block is emitting in the infrared light, but it is only coming out through the hole, and thus we have much greater intensity than from the outside surface of the block. Now let's have three blocks made of different materials that have holes drilled in them. Note that the outer surface appearance of all three blocks look different depending upon the composition of material that reflects incident light. If we again look all these blocks in an infrared light, we will see that all three surfaces still appear differently. The three materials emit and absorb radiation differently due to their different emissivity of the surfaces. But the holes still appear equally bright. This proves that black body radiation does not depend on any other characteristics of the emitting body other than the temperature. Now let's go to the example of snow. Why is snow considered to be a black body? If you see, snow is actually not a black body in the visible region of the electromagnetic wave spectrum. It is a highly reflective in visible part of the spectrum and that's why it looks white in color. But in the infrared region of the spectrum, it absorbs and emits nearly all the radiation and therefore it is a black body only in the infrared region. And since black body concept is related to thermal radiation and the heat is generated due to infrared region of the spectrum, we can say that snow is also a black body. If you like this video, kindly like and subscribe and keep watching for more interesting videos.